Hi there, my name is Aaron Short and welcome to my YouTube channel and another episode of Acoustic Guitar Pickups. This is kind of a bonus episode. In the last video, I reviewed the Fishman Rare Earth Mic Blend pickup system. It sounds really great for a magnetic sound hole pickup with a mic. If you're okay with having the pickup in the sound hole, I still think it's a great option. But a viewer left a comment on that video to say that Ibanez have a John Gum signature model that has that same pickup in it and the Fishman tap pickup as well, and two outputs. So it's like a unique hybrid system for John Gom's signature model. Thanks for that comment. I reached out to Fishman, who reached out to Ibanez on my behalf, and they've sent me the guitar to show you on the channel. This isn't a sponsored video. I have the guitar here. Obviously, they've sent it to me, but they're not paying me for my opinion. I've been trying the guitar for a few weeks, and I really like this system as well. In fact, in some ways, I prefer it. It's worth bearing in mind that this particular system is only available at the time of this video in this guitar. So I'm sure you could probably make it yourself. Obviously, Fishman have made it for this model, but you can't just buy this version off the shelf. I still think the Rare Earth with the mic is a great system and a great option, but this kind of takes it to another level, and I'll give you a demo of it today. First of all, let's talk a little bit about the guitar. So there's the JGM5, which is the guitar I have today, and there's also a JGM10, which is the more premium version. I'll put the links below so you can see the exact specs of everything. It's obviously John Gom's signature model. Now, if you haven't seen John Gom, do go and check him out. He's absolutely amazing. I've been watching all of his videos since trying this guitar. I had heard of him before, but now I'm even more into what he does. It's amazing. He's technical and yet super musical. He writes, he sings, and he's so engaging as a solo artist, which I really respect because I'm also a solo artist. I don't play in the way he does at all, but I am a solo artist and obviously I'm always looking for the best acoustic tone on stage possible. You think that John Gom would be a great person to make a signature guitar with a great pickup system, and I think this is a great pickup system. He's obviously had a lot of experience on live stages and needs a lot from his pickup and his guitar. Okay, so this is the guitar. It's a pretty big jumbo sized guitar, as you can see. We have some interesting things here, like the neck, it's very wide up here. Obviously that suits the way he plays finger style. If you watch the videos with John, he talks about how he's designed the guitar for body percussion and the way that he plays. So this clearly is an artist instrument. It's not just a standard guitar with his name slapped on it. And he's done the same with the pickup system. This isn't just a stock pickup from the shelf. This is what he wants from a pickup system. So this is the Rare Earth Mic Blend pickup that I reviewed in the last video. So if you haven't seen that video, do watch that one later on. That will give you the full specifics of this system. But as a quick overview, you have the sound hole magnetic humbucking pickup and the gooseneck microphone, and you have a control here to blend between the two. So you can have mostly sound hole pickup or mostly microphone. I did notice even when it's rolled all the way to the sound hole pickup, there is still a little bit of mic there, but not enough to really cause any feedback or anything. Another little tip I wanna add to this video that I discovered since last time is that on two of these systems now, I've heard this really weird noise and I figured out what it was with Fishman's help. There's a washer inside the gooseneck mic, and I'll show you a picture on the screen so you can see what I'm talking about. You just need to take a pick, like I use these one mil picks, they work really well, or a screwdriver or something, and tighten that washer. If you buy one of these pickups, then do that, because I've had that happen now on two of those systems. And if it happened during a gig, you basically get this horrible rattle directly through the microphone. So little tip there, if you get this system, do tighten that washer, make sure it's nice and tight. So anyway, this is the same as the pickup I reviewed before. One thing that I actually prefer is that you no longer have to remove the pickup to change the batteries. The battery is now a regular nine volt battery in a pouch down here on the neck block. So I prefer that and that powers both pickups, both the tap pickup and the sound hole pickup, everything. I actually prefer that. I would have taken that a step further and put it into a battery box in the end of the guitar. I'm surprised John didn't do that because I'm sure he has to adjust his guitar and things like that. But I don't know, maybe he didn't want to cut into the wood any more than he had to and would rather have a battery um, pouch inside the guitar. As far as I know, the battery life on these systems is pretty long. So just change that battery when you change your strings, and that shouldn't be a problem. So that is that part of the system. Apart from those changes there, it's the same as the one I reviewed before. But they've also added what they call their tap pickup. Down here, it's underneath the saddle, a bit like a K&K &K style pickup, right? So it picks up all that body sound. 
And then you have a control module here for that. So it can go from basically zero all the way up. If you plug into the regular jack out of the back of the guitar here, this main one here, it actually blends all those together into one cable. So you can just plug in a single cable as normal. And then obviously you can have either mostly magnetic, mostly mic, a blend of the two, and then the amount of contact pickup that you want from one cable. That's really smart. I love that design. But they've also added a second output jack, which many builders wouldn't do. Look at that. I love that. And what that means is if you plug in two cables, you can have this system here coming out of one cable and just the tap pickup coming out of the other cable. And theoretically, well, yes, you can plug them both into a mixer and process them separately. You can even plug a TRS cable in to this pickup's output jack and have all three outputs on separate channels. So the mic on one channel, the magnetic on another channel, and the tap pickup on another channel and process them all separately. That is real pro level stuff and I love seeing that on an instrument, especially at this price. I think it's great. I think all pickups should have that option. And the fact that you can just use one cable if you want is also great because it can be as simple or as complex as you want it to be. So let's get into the sound of the pickups now. I'm gonna play the guitar with the microphone in front of it just so you can hear what the guitar sounds like acoustically. And then I'm gonna show you each pickup and the combination of them and why I think this is a great sounding system. Just want to add today, if you hear any buzzing, it's probably because this guitar ships with a different gauge string to what I normally use and to what I've put on here since. It even ships with John's own tuning, which I don't even know how to play in. And obviously that means the guitar is set up for those strings and that tuning. Again, I think it's great because it just shows what a true signature guitar this is. But bear that in mind, when you get the guitar, you may need to set it up for the new strings if you change them. All right, so let's go through this pickup system. First of all, I'll turn the tap off completely. I'll also mute my mic. You'll just hear the magnetic part of the sound hole pickup and then the mic part of the sound hole pickup. Remember, the mic is on a gooseneck. You can adjust it to different positions, which does radically affect the tone. And then I'll give you a 50-50 blend of the two. This should sound the same as in the last demo that I did on this pickup system. So I find all magnetic too artificial and I find all microphone too weak and distant. 
even though it's very natural. So as I said in the last video, the sweet spot for me is just in the middle or somewhere around the middle. So you get the articulation from the sound hole pickup and also the feedback resistance because they are highly feedback resistant and the natural sound of the mic blended in. So let me give you that demo now. Right, now we're gonna move on to what's new. So now I'm gonna blend in a little bit of this tap pickup here. I'll do about 50% so you can hear what everything sounds like together. There is no indent. I kind of wish there was an indent here as well, but I usually just go all the way to maximum and then back it up by one and a half. So what do you think of that? Let me know in the comments below. I actually think that takes it to yet another level. The tap pickup sounds incredibly natural and just kind of fills out the sound even more. And the fact that you can blend that in and out is great. It also gives you amazing body sound, maybe too much for some, but again, it's on a control so you can take it out or bring it back in again. That makes it really flexible. And if you're looping, it'd be amazing for that. This pickup in the sound hole already picks up quite a bit of body sound with the microphone but with the body tap sensor as well, you get a ton of body sound. Check this out. I'll leave that there because I can't stop thinking about John's videos where he shows you how he does the drumming and the tapping and everything. You need to watch those videos to see how you get the most from this pickup system. So I really like this. I really think this is a cool signature model. It's pretty affordable. I'll put the pricing in the description because these things do change. But for a full custom pickup in a guitar, it's pretty competitive in my opinion. And a couple of things I wanna add on to the end of the video. First of all, in my testing, I plugged the separate output from the tap pickup into my PA and I thought it sounded excellent. I don't know why Fishman don't sell the tap pickup by itself. Previously, I've only tried it in a Martin guitar that had the Matrix pickup with the tap pickup. And I always found that to be really bright, like incredibly bright sounding. And I never really liked it. I actually think I prefer the tap pickup by itself. Now I think I know why they don't offer it. It may feed back. It's not gonna be as stable as the magnetic or an undersaddle. So the danger is it may feed back. You can get a version of the tap system, which is the matrix and the tap, or the magnetic and the tap. So far you can't get this system with the three different pickups in it. Maybe they'll do that one day, I don't know. But for just a simple pickup, I really like the sound of the tap by itself. I'd like to see Fishman release the tap pickup and you just have that stuck to the guitar with your battery pack, maybe no controls even, and go straight to PA. For a simple setup, I think that could be a really cool sound. 
Let me play you just the tap pickup by itself so you can hear what I'm talking about. Another thing to mention, I haven't gigged this guitar, but I am now very used to my room and my speakers in here. I know how much I can drive a system and if it will feedback, and I have not had any feedback from this guitar so far, which is really impressive. I know I can make it feedback because there's a mic in there if I turn it up enough, but it's very, very stable, and that's really impressed me as well. One final thing to say about Ibanez guitars, I looked on their website and it turns out they even make their own version of this. Now, I don't know if it's as good as this. It's a different system, but it uses the same philosophy. So you have a magnetic pickup, but not in the sound hole. So you can still have access to your sound hole. And you have more of a conventional contact pickup system, which is like three sensors stuck to the top. I don't know how they're stuck on or anything based on this system, but without the mic. And I don't know if it will sound as good. This system just sounds really, really great but their system does have direct controls on the top of the guitar and it retains the two output jacks on the guitar. I would love to check out one of those systems in the future. That would be great. And again, I wanna praise Fishman, Ibanez and John Gom for making instruments that are custom to certain artists, but also forward thinking with their design and their electronics. Obviously, I want to see more innovation in acoustic guitar pickups. Some companies are doing a great job. In fact, several companies are doing a great job. If you watch my channel, you know who I'm talking about. But I'd love to see innovation like this from all of the companies because acoustic guitar pickups can sound great. Anyway, if you're new here and you're into this kind of stuff, do subscribe and ring the bell. It means a lot to me. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. If you haven't seen the other acoustic guitar pickup videos, please check them out. Feel free to watch all of my videos on the channel. It really helps me out. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.